Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2020, Question 6. Express sine x plus 2 cos x in the form r sine x plus alpha, where r and alpha are constants, r larger than 0, and alpha between 0 and pi over 2. We need to give the exact value of r and give the value of alpha in radians to three decimal places. So when we're changing a multiple of sine plus a multiple of cos into the form r sine x plus alpha, we've got some results that we just have to memorize and we can use. So to find r, we do the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of sine and cos. So in this case, the coefficient of sine is one, the coefficient of cos is two, so r equals the square root of one squared plus two squared, which is root five. To find alpha, we use the result tan alpha equals the coefficient of cos, which is two, over the coefficient of sine, so one, so tan alpha equals two. Inverse tan of this gives us that alpha is 1.107. For part B, the temperature, theta degrees C, inside a room on a given day is modelled by the equation theta equals 5 plus sine pi t over 12 minus 3 plus 2 cos pi t over 12 minus 3, where t is the number of hours after midnight. We need to use the equation of the model and our answer to part A to deduce the maximum temperature of the room during this day. So, the important thing to notice in this question is it asks us to use our answer to part A, where we worked out that sine x plus 2 cos x equals root 5 sine x plus 1.107. Looking at the equation we've been given for this part of the question, we can see it's got the same format in there. After the 5, we've got sine of a value plus 2 cos of the same value. So letting our x equal pi t over 12 minus 3, we can convert this into theta equals 5 plus root 5 sine pi t over 12 minus 3 plus 1.107. Now we want the maximum temperature, we want the maximum theta. This is going to happen when we're adding as much as possible onto 5. Well, the largest value that sine can take is 1. So our theta max is going to equal 5 plus root 5 times 1, which is 5 plus root 5, which is 7.24. For part C, we need to find the time of day when the maximum temperature occurs, giving our answer to the nearest minute. So in the last question, we deduce the maximum temperature using our formula theta equals 5 plus root 5 sine pi t over 12 minus 3 plus 1.107. And we said that the maximum temperature occurs when the sine part is equal to 1. So for the sine part to be equal to 1, the bit inside the brackets has to equal pi over 2, because sine of pi over 2 equals 1. So we get that pi t over 12 minus 3 plus 1.107 equals pi over 2. Adding the 3 and subtracting the 1.107 gives us that pi t over 12 equals pi over 2 plus 1.893. We're then going to multiply by 12 and divide both sides by pi to get 12 lots of pi over 2 plus 1.893 all over pi, which if we stick into a calculator gives us an answer of 13.23. But we need the time of day to the nearest minute, whereas ours is still in decimal form. So to convert this, we're going to take the decimal bit, the 0.23, times that by 60, number of minutes in an hour, which gives us 14 minutes to the nearest minute. So the time of day is 13.14 or 1.14 pm, whichever format you prefer. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.